Hello folks, welcome to this tutorial. Um, today I'm going to show you how I get the most out of my uh, raw file with my Canon CR3s. And um, you know, I, I thought of doing this tutorial because I realized that, you know, all over the internet uh, people are always talking about qualities of sensor, the glass and how the camera performs and you know, there's so much uh, about the technical stuff, but uh, very little with people who actually um, want to get the most out of their images uh, when they develop them. You know, I don't know what percentage of the world's images today are actually just on social media and digital, but um, you know, for me, I'm still old school, I still do prints, I do books, I uh, submit uh, images for magazines and publications. So for me, um, personally, it's very important to get the uh, most out of a digital file. And uh, recently I was battling uh, with Adobe Lightroom, um, Classic CC, and the Canon R5 and R6 files. And the quality of the file when looking at it, it was just, something was off. So um, I thought, well, let's have a look in Canon's Digital Photo Professional 4, the free software that you get with your Canon camera, um, highly available for download. And I thought, let me, let, let me compare what the, the, um, the files look like when they come out of DPP uh, instead of just out of Lightroom. So what I've done is I've got a selection of images, um, as you can see here. I've got sort of morning light, late afternoon light, and evening dark light. <clears throat> and uh, uh, for me, this is a, a Dell 4K monitor, so I'm not 100% sure how it will look on, on YouTube. But, um, you know, I found some very interesting results. So I'm going to select the first two images, and I'm going to have a look at them side by side. So you can have a look at the top here that I'm not pulling the wool over your eyes. This is a CR2 RAW file, and this is a RAW file. Uh, it's a TIFF from DPP. So basically what I did is I, when you import your photo into Lightroom, the only thing Lightroom does to your photo is it adds sharpening in the standard import. And I've done exactly the same here with this um, Canon Digital Photo Professional RAW file. I've just left the sharpening as is as it comes in camera. So when you look at these two photos from, from the start, you see the uh, Canon RAW file on the right and the Adobe RAW file on the left. And you look and you see, okay, the uh, DPP RAW is a little bit darker than the um, CR2. But for me, um, I'm looking at it in a different point of view. I just see there's a much more even dynamic range right through the whole image. And, um, you know, it's also a little bit more, the color science looks good. Um, if we zoom in and we have a look, um, sorry, I, uh, I did create one-on-one -on -one previews. If we have a look at the, um, the Canon file, um, it already looks a lot cleaner just, just from the get-go. And uh, remember I said to you, this has got no ISO or, I mean, sorry, no noise reduction or anything, just basically the sharpening. Um, sorry, the uh, file is rendering. Um, but as you can see here, the quality of this file is, is um, pretty good. We go down to the subject. So you can have a look there. It's, it's cleaner even from the start. Um, See, there's a little less detail here, or uh, dynamic range, or whatever, but uh, generally speaking, um, for me, I'm looking towards the raw file here, giving me a better overall start. And then the next two images which I chose, um, basically what I did here is I took the raw file and I applied the basic setting um, that I would use uh, in... Um, DPP, which basically is the uh, a little bit of noise reduction if necessary. I would use the sharpening as I said on both it's the same and all I will do then is add the lens corrections. Um, the lens correction on the uh, RAW and the lens correction on the uh, DPP, the TIFF file. So yeah, we can have a look. First thing I notice, more color, correct color science. A much better uh, profile to start with and um, if we look at the sharpness um, very much of a muchness for me and we go down just now where we had a little less detail uh, still yeah it looks a little bit 
more detail here, but that looks more constant and uh, much, much, much better gradient, less washed out. So, um, yeah, that's the first image. So, you know, for me, um, looking at printing a file, color signs, um, here we go. If you had to edit this one, I'm sure you could edit to that one, but you look how clean the file is. Um, this has had noise reduction done to it. The Canon's still performing, uh, giving me a better quality. Um, and I think quality is, is important uh, for uh, professional photographers and those that are OCD. So the next image I've got here is I've taken a um, very low light image. You can have a look also at the settings. Um, a little bit of a higher ISO. And um, this was taken on one of my safari trips to Zamanga Private Game Reserve in South Africa. Uh, you can find more details about my safaris at the bottom in the details. And um, you, you have a look immediately. Now, this is, this is the other way around. This raw file looks a lot lighter uh, from the DPP side than the, um, the, um, the Lightroom file. So let's zoom in and have a quick look. Um, yeah. Lower light, high ISO, this seems to have a lot more detail for me, a lot better exposure. And uh, overall, um, yeah, it, uh, I just, you know, immediately it just looks better. So let's have a look now when I apply the basic settings to both of them. Um, yeah, this has given me a much better, lighter, warmer image. Um, this one is still a little bit dull, underexposed. Um, and then, I mean, Guys, this is ISO 1600. This is the Canon file. This is the Lightroom file. Um, yeah, Canon's uh, noise reduction from the get-go is, is much better. I know people are going to tell me there's AI noise reduction, there's this plugin, there's uh, all of those other things, but they cost money. And for me, the Canon is free. And you can have a look here already, the output file just with basic settings, i.e., just sharpening and just lens correction um, looks looks tenfold better. And you can see sharpness, well, I mean, I don't want to nitpick, but the Canon one just, just looks a little bit on the better side for me, less noise, less, more detail. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, we zoom out. So, yeah, I've got, I don't know, guys, um, that to me looks like a better result. And um, I'm always saying again, I'm not knocking Adobe, I'm just saying I want the best quality out of my file. And Canon's Digital Photo Professional 4, um, just so far, has given me, um, with the first image, it was a minor difference. The second set of images, it's a big, big difference for me. So I like shooting a lot in the golden hour and late afternoon. So here we are pushing uh, to more better quality images for me. Okay, this is also from Zmanga. This is in a uh, hide underground. Basically, you have uh, special LEDs which light up. And um, you can see how the ISO is a little bit higher again. Uh, I haven't cropped or anything the file um, as is. This is basically just sharpening. This is just basically with sharpening. And we look in. Um, okay. A little bit more noise in this one than here. Uh, that one, no, now it's more detail. It's just much more constant uh, white to black. It's, okay, difficult. Um, are you going to notice it? Let's have a look once I put the basic settings in. I call there immediately. I can see there's less noise in this image on the right from DPP. Um, the noise reduction, I might have overdone it a little bit, it looks a little bit, no it doesn't. For me it's got a better, um, a better feel to it and it looks sharper. Um, but again, it's a, a personal thing. So, um, I don't know, you guys can have a look over the whole scope of these three images. Uh, I'm going to give DPP for the win and, um, you know, what what makes this best for me? It's a free set of software that give Canon give you. Um, so it's Canon software with a Canon file with Canon color science and Canon output. 
Uh, a lot of people might not like using DPP because it's a bit clunky and a bit so and so. Yeah, I also um, I have those objections, but you know when I'm working with one file, uh, especially out of a series for print, um, the best quality out of it for me is the most important. So um, thanks very much, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little short tutorial. Below is where you can buy me a coffee, whether you buy me just a cup or you subscribe to my personal platform where I share a lot of um, personal anecdotes, uh, images, uh, things about photography that uh, are important to me. And uh, yeah, you can always follow my social media channels and uh, why not like and subscribe, give this one a thumbs up. And best of all, please guys, give it a share. Really share this for me. I love um, my um, image editing and obviously my Canon. And uh, this would help you guys improve your photography. And I'm sure if you share it well, far and wide, you'd help somebody else. That's it, guys. Have a great day. Thanks very much.